car closest and he gets away fastest and he's got the lead ahead of Isaac Hadjar and the run down to turn one he's immediately moved across to counter and let's just see what's gone on behind we had a number of cars fail to start now Hadjar's been in this position before yellow flag. We're back under action with two thirds of this race to go. Race number 10 of the 2022 Formula Regional Asian Championship. Back underway, Aaron looks to the inside. Marty all over the back of Aaron now. In front of the field, Isaac Hadjar. This is victory number one for the season. And he's very, very happy about it too. Marty pulls alongside Paul Aaron. It's been a tough weekend uh, last week, but uh, we found solutions. We, we were focused and uh, yeah. The job is done for today, it's a great point. First win of the season and uh, yeah, hope, he, hope to do the same tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I had a good start, um, Isaac's start was also not bad, so he went on the outside of me. Um, then honestly, turn one, I was ahead of him. He went off the track and it took me off the track, so I was a bit surprised and after he pushed me off. So I lost the position there, but after um, the pace in the race was really good, we were definitely quicker than them. Just a bit difficult to overtake. Um, they had quite good straight speed, so it was hard to get close to him. And uh, so I was pretty much following him closely all the race. Well, I got a, quite a bad launch and I got passed by uh, Arthur and Gabriele Mini in the start. So I was down to fifth before first corner. Then I overtook Mini around the outside. And from then on, I, I got a chance to overtake Arthur. I took it. And then from then on, I was third for the whole race. Shame I didn't have the pace that the guys in front hit, uh, sorry, did after the, after the restart. But uh, otherwise, I think we were quite there. Francesco Brashi gets away comfortably and unfortunately we've had a car stop from the second row. That was Delano Vanderhoff. Three wide down to turn one. That'll never work, but around the outside seems to be the way to go. I think that would be a safety car. Yes, I just see the lights come on now car has stopped on the front straight. I think we saw that run very wide on the exit. Beerman and Crawford. So Crawford's made up an immense amount of time on Beerman. Oh, just went over the kerb trying to hold his position. Now this is the kind of pace that we were looking for from Jack Crawford. Side by side as they go down to turn one. This will be a braking duel. You can see Crawford's just trying to squeeze him across. Beerman has done a great job in trying to maintain that spot. A little bit of wheel to wheel contact. Crawford, can he hold the spot? Still side by side. No, Beerman's got the position back. Brilliant job by the team down there, what Aussies in that crew, victory to Pasma. Um, yeah, we had a decent start and after that uh, it was uh, just uh, focus on driving forward, um, yeah. It was uh, definitely, I had to try everything. I mean, they were being, both drivers were being really aggressive. So, uh, 
yeah, I mean, I tried everything. I, I think it took me like five laps for each. So, um, yeah, it's a shame I spent my whole race just battling. But, but yeah, it was entertaining for sure. So, yeah, I made a good start. Um, safety car restart. I couldn't really attack and out from there. I was just struggling a bit with the tires, but um, still really happy with the result and uh, looking forward to racing. We're underway with race number 12 of the 2022 Formula Regional Asian Championship. A big squeeze on from Aaron across towards Leclerc, but it looks like Leclerc may well have the position as they run down to turn one. It looks very much like Isaac Hadjar, but they've very much side by side, many down the inside from his high tech teammate. It may be a Red Bull livery, but they're both operating under the uh, Oliver Oaks run high tech GP banner and very, very close. Hadjar takes the position back. final corner and for the third time in season 2022 the championship points leader for Mumbai Falcons Arthur Leclerc takes the checkered flag. Yeah I mean uh, I'm really happy uh, about this weekend first the performance in qualifying was better than last week so we did a good improvement and uh, yes yeah, second the race pace in race three was quite good in race one and two were a bit lacking of pace, but uh, but yeah, we managed to get everything together for race three, and uh, yeah, we're happy for the win. We knew that race three was going to be tough because Dino and Arthur were on new tires, and I was on old tires. Nevertheless, I managed to to stay ahead, and then uh, Arthur made a mega move. I was not expecting it at all, and for me, cutting the corner was fair enough because there was no space left. But I was told by the team to to let him by. I'm not sure if if that was the instruction from the team or from the race control, but. Anyway, uh, I think the pace was good and we cannot be too disappointed with second place. Yeah, it was, it was a hell of a fight. I mean, we were, I, I, I think in my opinion, I made a really good move and he kept the position. And then obviously, I suppose he didn't give it back when he was told to. So it's not the way I like getting third. I mean, across the finish line fourth. But from my point of view, I made the move and I was there. So yeah, quite happy with the result anyway.